Hi guys, welcome to Makeup Your Mind's Beauty Channel. It's Kimmy here. I decided to do a eyeshadow tutorial today and I feel like I haven't done one in a while just because I've been doing reviews and um, talking about stuff. But I did this really nice purple and coral and reddish type look. Um, something festive for spring and just, I don't know, I really like it. You guys can use this for like a, a barbecue night or um, a kind of luau type uh, party or something like that. I don't know. I really like it. It turned out really good. I'm going to show you the palette that I used since I didn't really show it in the video any. It would be kind of bulky to constantly pick up and down. I used the Coastal Scents 88 Matte Palette. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the colors that I used in the video. Um, in order of me using them in the video so you guys can kind of get an idea of what colors I used and when. So the first color is this orange right here. It's a nice shimmery coral orange, and I use that all over the lid. Then across the upper lash line, I use this nice, beautiful red color and blended it in. And then to blend out the orange, I used this one right here up in the crease. And then for the purple, I used this light color right here and in the crease and outer V and just blend it up towards the brow bone. And then I used this purple right here just to deepen up the crease a bit. For my highlight, I used this light beige color on the brown bone. So um, I hope that this kind of helps you guys get an idea of where I placed and what colors I used. I hope I didn't confuse you all. Also, for my foundation and my primer, I just picked up this stuff and I'm going to do a review on this, but I want to let you know this is what I use for my foundation and primer today. I use the L'Oreal Studio Secrets Professional Magic Perfecting Base, and it's just a little jar like this. For foundation, I use the L'Oreal Paris Magic Smooth Souffle, and I use that in Natural Ivory. It's 514. So, without further ado, I will let you guys go ahead and get on with this tutorial, and I hope you guys really like this look. I am really inspired by it. I love this look, and I might actually wear it out sometime if we do something festive and fun. So, alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my eye, and I'm going to use the e.l.f. eye primer. And surprisingly, I really like this stuff. It works really well. Make sure you get a little under your lashes too. And then just blend. Okay, so with a shadow brush, I'm going to use that bright, vibrant orange from the Coastal Sense palette. And I'm going to apply that all over the lid. And I'm going to push it in. I'm not going to sweep it across. I want the color to... Okay, sorry guys, my camera cut off on me. Um, just continue to apply the orange all over the eyelid. If you don't want this color to be so vibrant, um, you can tone it down by mixing it with a lighter shade. But I'm going for the bold look here today. Make sure you get it in really close to your lashes and slightly bring it up the crease right here. Okay, then once you have that done, go in with the lighter orange and then just blend upwards. To soften out this darker orange color. Then I'm going to take an angle brush, like this. This is just an e.l.f. one. And we're going to go in with that bright red crimson color. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just line my upper lash line with it. Yeah, right now it does look really scary. So just take a blending brush and then run the blending brush across the top to soften that line out. So 
So you have a gradient that goes from red to orange to light orange. So with an angle or a blending brush, I'm going to grab that light purple color. I'm going to get a lot on the brush to just tap off the excess so we don't have any fallout. I'm going to start on the outside corner and kind of make a V. And bring it up. You might need to use a lot of this color since it is such a pastel type of color to get it to show up on the lid. If you want it very subtle, just kind of tone it down a little. You might, won't need to use as much purple. And blend that up towards your brow. Then with the same angle brush, I'm going to just tap it into that darker purple color. You don't need a lot of this. Just a tiny little bit at the end of my brush. And I'm going to apply that just to the crease to give it some depth. I'm going to use this angled brush right here. And I'm going to do the bottom lash line. We're going to grab that light purple color. Tap off the excess. And then go just the outer half of the bottom lashes with that light purple. I'm going to clean off this brush real quick on a towel. And then I'm going to go in with that orange color. Again, tap off the excess and run it from the inner tear duct and meet up with that purple. Okay, and then just grab a blending brush and run it right along to blend them together. Okay, then I'm going to go back in with a shading brush and I'm going to get that light white color. I'm going to apply it to my brow bone. And then I'm going to slightly blend the purple in with the white just to fade it out. I'm going to be using two liners. I have just a regular black pencil liner and then I have this beautiful rose pink color from e.l.f. and I'm not sure of the name. I'll look it up and then post it in an annotation around here somewhere so you guys can see it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the upper waterline and I hate this so much because it tickles so. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a thin, very thin line along my upper lash line. Keep it very close to the lashes. And actually I'm not really drawing it on, I'm kind of just doing like tiny little flicks. And it gets enough product on. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is take this e.l.f. Professional Smudge Eye Sponge, it just looks like this, and I'm going to smudge that black liner out. Then I'm going to go in with the pink shimmer liner from e.l.f. and I'm going to kind of draw right over top of the black and it's going to lighten it up a little bit and make it more pastel type of a color, but still giving that dark liner effect which makes your eyes pop and makes it just brings everything together. I'm going to run just a tiny bit down through my lower lashes. I'm going to go ahead and smudge that into the black a bit. Then I'm going to take my mascara, and the one that I've been using is the um, Mark Wins mascara that I got for Christmas. And believe it or not, I've been using this pretty much every single day. I love the brush, and I am almost out of product. That's what the brush looks like. And to add a little shimmer, because I am using the matte Coastal Scents palette, I'm going to use this e.l.f. Shimmering Facial Whip in Spotlight. I'm going to 
out of focus or not. Probably not. But I'm just going to apply a little to my ring finger. Kind of like that. And I'm going to put it on against my brow bone and just blot it in. And you can also put it in your inner tear duct as well. Just enhance it along your cheekbone for that added shimmer. Okay, so I'm going to zoom you guys out and um, I'll show you what I did to my cheeks and lips. Okay, I already have my blush and stuff on, so what I used for my blush was the e.l.f. Natural Radiance Blusher in Glow. And it's just the dollar blush from e.l.f. And I've noticed a lot of people complain in the reviews and stuff that they can't figure out how to open these packages. And it's quite simple. The top just slides like that. And it latches. So yeah. Um, and I applied that to the apples of my cheeks and up towards my um, hairline. And then for my lip product, I wanted to keep it very neutral and natural since my eyes are kind of out there. And I used the Luscious Liquid Lipstick from e.l.f. in Baby Lips. And it's just a very nude pink color. You can barely tell that there's very much on my lips with it. But I really like it. It's, it's subtle. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and the look. And I hope it gave you a little bit of inspiration and get excited for springtime. But um, make sure you guys comment on this video, thumbs up, thumbs it up if you like it, and um, subscribe if you want to see more tutorials in the future. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.